But first at 530, routine maintenance at an upstate gas station led to the discovery of credit card skimmers. This is the second time this week the Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office has been notified about skimmers. Our Taniqua Penix joins us live with advice from a financial expert on how to protect yourself. Well, good evening, Carol. Mark, these are two different gas stations in Spartanburg County where these skimmers were found. So experts just advise people to pay attention at the pumps. The sheriff's office say on Thursday, a technician was doing maintenance on a pump at the Valero gas station on 1495 South Pine Street, and they found two skimmers. The report states the manager opened the pump and showed deputies a device that was plugged into the card reader, and it appeared to be a Bluetooth device. Before swiping, accountant Lisa Nason advises people to examine the device. Sometimes you can tell just because it doesn't look like a regular scanning thing that you just stick your card in and come back out with. So just look at it, make sure it looks right, um, that you don't see anything st sticking out or that doesn't appear to fit in with the machine itself. This comes after four skimmers were found at the Valero gas station at 1980 Chesney Highway Tuesday morning. Nason says if you do find that you've been scammed, notify your bank immediately and dispute the charges. And if possible, use credit instead of debit. Normally, you can dispute that charge and the bank or the credit card company will then credit you back while they investigate the situation. And normally that's the end of it. They refund your money and you're done. We tried reaching out to both gas stations and neither one responded. Janiqua, what other ways can people protect themselves from these skimmers? Yes, Carol, where the FBI has some tips where they recommend people use the gas pump closest to the attendant inside, and they also suggest tapping your card instead of swiping. Reporting live in Spartanburg, Taniqua Penix, WIFF News 4.